Welcome to Japanese cooking channel in Bay Area. When it comes to yellowtail, Japanese people definitely think of this menu, Buri Daikon. It's very, very popular, especially in winter. I got a beautiful yellowtail at Japanese supermarket last weekend, so let me introduce one of my favorite winter menu today. So let's get started. For preparation, boil a pot of water. Cut buri into a large size pieces. Sprinkle salt on both surface and leave them for 15 to 30 minutes. Place the fillets on a flat strainer or colander and pour boiled water over the buri and drain. This process cleans odors away. Peel thick round slices of daikon and then cut it in a large bite-sized pieces. Slice ginger. Place daikon into a pot with just enough water to cover them and then bring to a boil. Pre-boil for about 10 minutes. This process is called shitayude, pre-boiling. It makes daikon tender to certain firmness before cooking together and a better taste. People assume that to simmer for a long time gets better taste, but it's not true. Pre-boiling is more effective to do so. Measure 360cc of broth left over after boiling daikon and mix other seasonings, soy sauce, mirin, and sake together. If you don't have 360cc of broth, you can add water. Pour mixture into a pan. Add boiled daikon. Two slices of ginger and buri into a pot. Simmer on a low heat with the lid until buri is cooked, which is approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Don't simmer for a long time, otherwise buri will get hard. Turn off the heat and leave the pot until it gets room temperature or soak it in the water to cool down. By cooling down, it will help to absorb delicious soup into daikon. Serve with thin strips of lemon peel on top. So how was today's recipe? Pre-boiling and cooling down will make daikon permeate the uh, flavor of soy sauce. You don't need to simmer for a long time to permeate. Just let a pot leave or soak in the cold water for a while. Many people may feel pre-boiling is a, such a hassle. However, trust me, it doesn't take a long time unless you forget to put the lid. 
So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.